Influenza like illness report on Bombay. RMI voters file lawsuits to restore absentee voting. And there's a used oil facility here in the FSM. I'm PJ, and this is the Micronesian News Broadcast. Welcome to the Micronesian News Broadcast. If this is your first time, welcome. And thanks for joining us. We are here to share news, updates, and our take on this beautiful part of the world, Micronesia. So you can stay informed and updated every week. So, in our very first story, I sent influenza like illness report, because this report was compiled by the Department of Health and Social Services, Bombay State Government. But first, I would like to refer to the SPC. According to their uh, searches, they found that epidemic and emerging desert Disease alerts as of March 18 include in the FSM Influenza A, in Palau, Dengue Fever 3, and CNMI Guam, they, both, they also have influenza as well. That was uh, what the SPC reported. What I'm going to report now is a influenza-like illness report that was compiled by Department of Health and Social Services from Bombay State Government. It was from April 1 this year, and the report was made on April 22 which is just a couple days ago. So, what is an influenza-like illness? So, what an influenza-like illness, according to the case definition, is a measured fever of 38 degrees Celsius, or self-reported fever, cough, and with onset within the last 10 days. The number of cases since March 25 was 657, reported since the last week of March. And that supposedly there were two deaths still to be confirmed and are most likely secondary to the flu. So, what according to the statistics here, the median age of um, influenza-like illness cases was 34 years old. And from 4 months to 85 years, all cases were residents of Pompeii State. About 55% are females and 45% are males. 13.1% of cases come from Kitchi Municipality, 7.8% come from Colonia Town, 27.3% are from Nech, 27% are from Sokes, 12.7% 12 are from U, and 12.3% are from Metalanine. Predominant clinical features among ILI cases, which is obviously an abbreviation of influenza-like illness, were, f were fewer than 100 degrees in Fahrenheit which was about 88% and cough which was about 97.7% there's actually a graph if you want to check it out as a matter of fact we'll show you, we'll share you with you the document if you want to see it yourself and in our second story RMI voters are filing lawsuits to restore absentee voting this comes to us from the Marianas Variety so according to this story two lawsuits have been filed in the RMI to restore absentee voting in 2016, the Nitsijela passed a law eliminating RMI's postal absentee ballots in a 13 to 12 vote. What is this anyway? Basically, absentee voting is voting for legislation and whatnot back home if you happen to live abroad. Why was it banned? The people who supported the ban of postal ballots say that the population of RMI citizens living abroad is increasing and it wields great influence for legislation back home those abroad may not necessarily understand or be affected by legislation that they want they won't face since they happen to live abroad. I mean, why file a lawsuit in the first place? With regards to lawsuit number one, they have made it known that the law is uncon that the law concerning uh, banning postal ballots is actually unconstitutional, and that the criteria for registration is very simple. You have to be 18 years of age, mentally fit, and not a convicted felon or serving a sentence or probation. So basically the, the basic voting, voting criteria according to those people is just those three. It doesn't matter if they live abroad or not. And with regards to lawsuit number two, the law is again unconstitutional since it eliminated voting postal ballot as provided by in the Elections and Referenda Act 1980 for people abroad and didn't provide an adequate substitute and has deprived them of their right to vote, a right that is actually guaranteed by their constitution. Also, they claim uh, they say that the Constitution Bill of Rights notes that, and I quote, no fee may be imposed so as to prevent participation by a person unable to afford such a fee. According to them, it feels 
that uh, it feels as if they <clears throat> are having to buy their way into voting by having to go back to RMI to actually vote. So, what is the outcome? The lawsuits are awaiting response from the government and they have 60 days to respond. This third story comes to us from the FSM PIO or Public Information Office. So recently, as of today actually, a used oil facility was completed here on the island of Hogan. The used oil recovery facility was completed with multiple donors and organizations, all of which were recognized in the original post which you can check on their FSM PIO Facebook page. So it, create, it was created in response to address potential environmental threats with used oil since a 2014 survey was uh, brought out concerning used oil at Pompeii. In a survey, FSM ranked the highest among 14 Pacific Island nations for used oil, having an adverse effect on the environment. It was also found in a 2018 used oil assembly assessment by the SPREP. They found that around 2,000 stockpiled drums of used oil on Pompeii, which is about, which is about uh, an estimated capacity of 132,500 gallons of used oil. FSM national government and Pompeii state government are hoping to export that used oil to a facility for recycling or treatment. And here is our take. Roll the clip. So, with regards to the very first story, that is a public health announcement that we should all be aware of. Influenza-like illnesses are very are are becoming a prevalent thing here in Pompeii. That's why. If you ever go like to Pompeii State Hospital, there's like either little kids or full-grown adults going there to be treated for their um, symptoms. So, what are some basic things we can do to avoid influenza? So, I guess in, this is my own personal opinion because I'm not a medical professional at all. I'm just some guy with a camera. I guess one thing we can do is um, stay hydrated for one uh, because. It's very important that we maintain our bodily <coughs> body fluid volume. Also, we can uh, maintain some basic hygiene by like um, washing our hands anytime we come into contact with the person that has an affliction. Also, covering your sneezes. That's also a very important thing so you don't spread the illness around. I think that's how we can contain the influenza-like illness that is being reported by our very own Department of Public uh, and Department of Health and Social Services. So I congratulate you at uh, Department of Health and Social Services, both the state government, for letting us know what's going on. And with regards to our second story regarding our mind voters wanting to uh, push a lawsuit to make get rid of um, reinstate postal ballot for our mind. What do you guys think? Is it valid? The reason, the whole entire reason why the uh, thing was put up anyway is because people in the RMI absolutely believe that the, and, and it has a good cause, the RMI pop citizen, citizenry abroad is growing uh, very big at a very fast rate because people are leaving the islands. And people that leave the islands still had the, at that time the right to vote. And so, would it make sense for people who don't actually live in the Marshall Islands to be able to sway the choices and legislation of the Marshall Islands? But, however, people that are bringing up the lawsuit say it is unconstitutional because it bars them from the, vote, the, the right to vote, which is actually a, a right guaranteed by the Constitution. What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In regards to our second story, what is used oil anyway? Used oil and waste oil are two different things. Used oil is obviously used oil. Waste oil is oil that has never been used but has been found to be impure or contaminated. Used oil, for instance, can be like um, oil that you drain from your car. So, here is the actual definition, um, a good definition of what used oil is. Any petroleum or synthetic oil that has been used and as a result of such use is contaminated by physical or chemical properties. It requires pr proper recycling or disposal to avoid creating environmental problems. That's the same thing goes for waste oil. And what are the risks that we run from having a ton of used oil? For one, I guess the basic one that we all know 
It affects the environment. It contaminates the air, water, soil, and basically the flora, basically the flora and fauna of around where the used oil is being placed. So, uh, the Epicen government and the Pompey State government said that they want to ship that, all that used oil, which is supposedly around 132,500 gallons. That was according to last year. It probably grew up ever since. They want to take that off island to a facility to either recycle it or retreat or treatment. So I hope you guys figure that out. And uh, yeah, so I just want to say thank you for tuning into the Micronesian News broadcast. This was our take. I'm PJ. And now here is an announcement. Hey guys, necessary. I'm Alana, and here is an announcement. The 2019 to 2020 Rotary Vital Scholarship is still available. Still available. For more information, contact rotarybonvay at gmail.com and submit your application before July 1st. Before July 1st. And now, here's my brother Norman with the Rotary Report for tomorrow. Brought to you by Bonvay Weather Station. This is, uh, hey guys, this is Norman and this is the Rotary Report tomorrow. 28 degrees Celsius high during the day and 24 degrees Celsius low during the night. Mostly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. 30% chance of precipitation and 70% of humidity. Sunrise will be at 6.13 a.m. and sunset will be at 6.34 p.m. Northeast winds 15 to 20 knots and seas will be at 6 to 7 feet high. Thanks for tuning in to the Market News and News Broadcast. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Until next time, see you later.